Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet synopsis. The chorus sets the scene as Verona, where two families, the Montagues and the Capulets, feud. The play then erupts onto the streets of Verona and the brawl between the families. The Prince of Verona intervenes to stop the fighting, and Old Capulet agrees to betroth his daughter, Juliet, to the Prince's young kinsman, Paris. Old Capulet arranges a masked ball to celebrate. Young Romeo Montague and his friends, including the witty Mercutio, sneak into the ball to get a glimpse of Rosalind Capulet, the object of Romeo's unrequited love. Instead, Romeo meets Juliet Capulet, Rosalind's cousin, and is overwhelmed by her beauty. Did my heart love till now? Forswear it, sight, for I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. Later that night, Romeo, lingering below Juliet's balcony, overhears Juliet's avowal of love for him. My bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. He makes himself known to her, and the pair resolve to marry the following night. Friar Lawrence and Juliet's nurse agree to help them, hoping the union will end the feud. Romeo and Juliet are secretly married by Friar Lawrence. The next day, Mercutio taunts Tybalt Capulet, Juliet's cousin, a hot-tempered young man, and the two begin to fence. Romeo tries to break up the fight, but Tybalt fatally wounds Mercutio. A plague of both your houses. They have made worms meet of me. Romeo kills Tybalt in revenge and the prince banishes Romeo from Verona to Mantua. Romeo and Juliet spend their wedding night together before Romeo flees to Mantua. Juliet's wedding to Paris is arranged. Desperate, Juliet asks Friar Lawrence for help. He advises her to take a sleeping potion, which will make her seem dead for 42 hours. The friar will send a message to Romeo in Mantua, who can then rescue her from the family tomb when she awakens. Juliet goes ahead with the plan and is found apparently dead in her bed. The friar's message does not reach Romeo, and he hears only of Juliet's death. Grief-stricken, Romeo rushes back to Verona and creeps into the Capulet tomb where he meets Paris. The two fight, and Paris is killed. Romeo lays down beside Juliet's body, takes poison, and dies. Not long after, Juliet regains consciousness and finds Romeo dead. Heartbroken, she tries to take the poison from his lips with a kiss, but death eludes her. So she stabs herself and dies. As the bodies are discovered, Friar Lawrence explains the story to the prince, who lambasts the families whose feuding has brought about this tragedy. Horrified by the sorry situation, the Montagues and the Capulets end their feud. Oh, brother Montague, give me thy hand. A glooming peace this morning with it brings. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. <laughs>